Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds. Today's video, we just have just a huge bag of watches. Now, I got this from a lady about a week ago for $40. I haven't had the time to deal with it. I haven't I just picked that one watch. And today we're going to go through it. Um, this is the reason I bought it. It's the original Apple Watch. As we can see, it's quite... Um, cracked here, cracked there. It does work, but it's in rough condition. And if you're wondering, this is a watch stand I made. I 3D printed it for smaller watches because these big ones are hard to fit many watches, especially ladies. So I made that. So without further ado, let's start jumping into the video and I will show you guys the watches. Also, if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. I love hearing from you, and hopefully we'll get to a 1,000 subscribers soon. And I think I paid, like, I think it was $40 for this watch bag. So, most of these are fashion kind of watches, too, but we might get something good. First one is Chivaz Quartz. Joyce Toronto 91, Okay. Kind of cool. The lady I bought these from said she used to collect watches. Next up we have. Yeah. No name. Next we have. This is an Ashai. That's a type of Japanese beer. You never know. That could be worth a bit of money. Is that broken? Or is that supposed to be like that? Maybe that's how you set the time. Have to look those up. We have some Canadian USA watch straps. That's a first. We have a Hello Kitty watch. Don't think there's much I can do with that. We have a Smiley watch. Again, I don't think there's going to be much I can do with that Smiley watch. Next up, we have a Timex, fully wound. And the condition, unfortunately, is not that great either. Next up, we have a, okay, Winnie the Pooh, but it's missing the back. That's good. I don't think there's going to be much I can do with that Winnie the Pooh, unfortunately. Next up, ooh, nice enough watch, but cracked crystal. And the condition's quite rough. Another watch strap. Just an expanding one. Okay, we have 101 Dalmatians. I wonder if this was like a uh, McDonald's toy or something. Yeah, it just says Hope Inc. You never know, 1991. That's 32 years ago. So it could be worth something. Next up is Cumex. Darlene. 196, maybe 1996. The leather on this is a little rough, but it should be okay. That one's probably going to be sellable. I don't know for how much. Oh, this is kind of cool. Loris, Mickey Mouse. Um, yeah, I kind of like this. Smaller strap. Let's clean up the dial a little bit. Yeah, that's probably going to be a sellable watch. This is kind of neat. We have a Timex. Indiglo. Plastic. In pink. Kind of a neat little watch. Another Hello Kitty. Yeah, made in China, a little bit newer. Oh. Okay, this is a Swatch. Yes, yeah, Swatch. Musical. Musical? Don't know. 
Uh, I don't see a date on the swatch. Oh, there's one up there. 19, I think it says 89. But okay, that's a good find. That's Those older swatches sell pretty good. We have two leather straps. These things are like gold for me. They're expensive. They're hard to find. When I see straps, I hoard them. A couple more straps as well. We have Cardinal. Okay. So that is a good find. Those looks like maybe six straps. I will definitely put those away. Okay, now this... Is that supposed? It's missing the back. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, this looks like a swatch, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Next up, we have Sailor Moon. Oh, it opens. You know, this almost looks like it's from the um, same as the 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, 1992. Uh, maybe that's worth something. I don't know. I know a lot of people still watch Sailor Moon, so you never know. That could be valuable. Mm. Yeah, this one's missing up here. Not much we can do with that. Okay, here's an okay watch. Caravel by Bulova. Uh, condition's not the best. P4, 1984. I mean, if I clean that up, I'll probably get $40. Nice vintage watch. Piaget? No, I know this is a valuable watch, but this just isn't real. I've seen quite a few of these fakes. So unfortunately, that's a fake. Next up, we have a ring watch. Don't think I can do much with that one. Next up, oh, a tag, Hoyer. Um, yeah, this is not real. Yeah, everything about this, this is a really poor fake. Even says Japan movement. See, the tag Hoyer is not even straight. One of the worst fakes I've seen in a long time. And Klein. Straps all bent. Not the best of conditions. What's this? Chevron. Swiss made. Fully wound. Oh, straps broken. Probably just going to be for parts. What's this? Lee Baron. Yeah, it must have been from the same person. They like writing the years on the back. No stem, no crown. The strap was upside down. <laughs> Forever Elvis. I mean, it's cracked. Straps quite hard. Yeah, this is just in bad condition. Another watch designed to look like a Rolex, but is not. What's this? It says Montreal 89. It's that same. Metacore? Encore? Missing a screw. But that's probably not a big deal. Missing a back screw. If it works, maybe, but I won't hold my breath. This is a Timex Electric. Now, I've sold quite a few of these. That's If it works, that's going to be a probably $40 watch. So we'll see. Hopefully it works. Another one of these watches. Ward Air. 
Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. What, like, what's that do? Don't know. That opens in. Is that how it closes, maybe? Don't know. You never know. Somebody might collect this. Oh, is that to change? Okay, now it moves. Then we. Okay, don't know what that does. Somebody may collect that. I don't know. Uh huh. Team set. Watch. Record play. I wonder if that's one of these watches for blind people. I've seen these before that you record it and it tells you the um, time. I wonder if that's what that is. Oh. Rugrats. I used to watch that. Rugrats movie. That might be worth something. Who knows? 1998. Okay, so it's old enough. Clean it up, and you never know if it works. Okay. Mickey Mouse. Kind of a neat watch. I would probably change the strap, but if it works. No, this has to be one of the most bizarre watches I've ever seen. And chat, chatter. That's just bizarre. I don't know. I've never seen a watch like that. Hmm. A little bit of paint chipping there. A little bit up there. But I mean, that's just bizarre. That's so bizarre. Somebody will buy it. Another one of these watches. I wonder who made these. It's like Burger King or... 1988, huh, hmm, okay then, next up we have a, don't know, straps rock hard on this, what's this? Hostess got the munchies. Yeah, I have no idea if that's going to be worth anything, not worth anything. Okay, I've seen this one before. Minnie Mouse by Lorth. Um, neat little watch. It's missing the top strap, but I have watches or straps that would fit this. This is a sellable watch. I've sold a couple of these. That is a good find. Now, what's this? This is a big watch. <clears throat> Churchill 96. Yeah, but you can see there's been some wear from spinning. These aren't the watches I usually deal in, but we'll see. Oh, what's this? Swiss movement, okay. Step in the right direction. That is an Aquatel. Hmm. Never seen one of these. What do we have here? This is an time teacher. Looks like an older Japan needs watch to tell the time. Value Village Kelowna 96. <laughs> I like how this lady act. She told me she wore them. I like on the back she put everything. And you know if anything that almost adds to the value. Because it gives the watch some nostalgia. Is this what I think this is? I own probably 2,000 watches. I have never seen a Monopoly watch. 1986, wow. I'm willing to bet this is collectible for somebody who likes Monopoly. It's a little bit tight, but that's just cool. Another one of these pop-up watches. 
main China Made in China, yeah. I wonder if it's like a set they bought. Now here's a Santa Claus watch, but as you can see, it's um broken. Made in China, yeah. So I'm impressed. There's a couple more watches, but most of these look like, you know, they're sellable. Cardinal, 17 jewels. Does it work? Let me shake it up. It does not appear to be working. Surprise to nobody. What's this? This is a two-day quartz. Yeah, I don't know. Condition's not the best. Almost looks like battery acid or water. Is this a homemade watch? I think this is a homemade watch. Huh. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do with that. Okay, that's a nice little watch, Citizen Quartz. I saw quite a few of these. Library 97, okay. Um, nice, clean. You know, these are $40 watches. Clean it up, change the battery. Usually sell pretty quick. Next up, we have Minnie Mouse No Back. Now, let me see. Do we have. No, oh, we have two more items in here. We have this. Nothing I can do with that. We have this, a Canadian. I don't think I'll be able to do anything with that. This has to be one of the weirdest bags I've opened in a while. We got quite a few nice watches and for the $40, I think it's well spent. Let me know what you think. If you know anything about any of these weird watches, you know, generally I get one or two watches I have to look up. These I have no clue. This could be a $500 watch. It could be $50 watch. No idea. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.